And now, ladies and gentlemen, please rise and welcome this year's graduates from Guilford Technical Community College.
Wow. I normally don't get such, such a nice welcome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. No. We're really, really glad you're here. Congratulations to all our graduates, all our family, friends for coming. We really appreciate you being here and uh, to have a great ceremony. So please be seated. So good afternoon. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, and students, welcome to Guilford Technical Community College's 2022 commencement exercises. I would like to start by introducing Mr. Bryce Scott, President of the 2021-2022 Student Government Association, who will bring greetings from the students. Good afternoon. My name is Bryce Scott. I have served as the Student Government Association President this past year and would like to welcome you all to this milestone of an occasion. Use this time to reflect on the memories you've made and the friendships you've gained and all the achievements you've accomplished. Each of you have overcome your own obstacles and have made it to the finish line. I hope you use all that GTCC has given you to continue to make amazing happen just as you have done here. I wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors, and I'm sure that each and every one of you will achieve your goals. Thank you. I would now, now like to introduce our stage party. Stage party, please remain standing after your name is called, and audience, please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Mr. Todd Roth, Academic Dean, Industrial, Construction, and Transportation Technologies. Dr. Steve Turner, Academic Dean, Humanities and Social Sciences. Dr. Deborah Walsh, Academic Dean, Business, Creative, and Performing Arts. Mr. Kirby Moore, Associate Vice President, Student Services. Ms. Carvina Foster, Guilford County Commissioner. Dr. James Edwards, Vice President, Student Services. Mr. Bryce Scott, President, Student Government Association. Mr. Kevin Crowder, President, Faculty Association. Ms. Kim Simon, Vice President, CRA and Fair Lending Program Manager, Carter Bank and Trust. Mr. George Ragsdale, Chair, Guilford Technical Community College Board of Trustees. Dr. Beth Patonzo, Senior Vice President of Instruction. Dr. Manuel Dudley, Vice President, Workforce and Continuing Education. Please give them all a round of applause. You may be seated. There you go. It's now my honor and privilege to introduce our speaker. Kim Simon became, began her career in banking in Brooklyn, New York as a teller in the mid-90s, relocating to North Carolina in 2001. She has risen through the ranks in the financial industry, serving in several leadership roles, and today is the Vice President for the Community Reinvestment Act and Fair Lending Program for Carter Bank and Trust, serving North Carolina and Virginia. In her role, Mrs. Simon collaborates closely with community development retail and lending associates to foster community service opportunities to increase or stabilize access to banking products or services in underserved communities. Kim's passion for serving the community is evident in her volunteerism with Junior Achievement of the Triad, a local organization that shares financial literacy, entrepreneurism, and job readiness to students who attend the schools in Guilford County and surrounding counties. Kim also created an initiative with the YMCA of Greensboro teaching financial literacy to community members. And she also finds time to serve as an ambassador with the Greensboro Chamber of Commerce where she was recently voted treasurer of the council. She is also a member of the Guilford Technical Community College Alumni Advisory Council. And this is the best part. Mrs. Simon earned her associate degree in general education at Guilford Technical Community College. Yeah, that's good, all right. <laughs> and, her, 
and her Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration at Guilford College. She resides in Greensboro with her husband, Antoine, and four adult children. They are members of the Evangel Fellowship Worldwide Church. We are extremely proud to have one of our alumnus deliver our commencement address today. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Kim Simon. Good afternoon. What a beautiful sight. Make amazing happen. And I'm seeing amazing today. You know, I'll do something different this afternoon. Why don't you just give yourselves a round of applause? <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Clark, for that introduction. I want to recognize, I want to take this moment to recognize Dr. Anthony Clark, president of Guilford Technical Community College, all of college leadership, the support faculty and staff, students, and loved ones. Thank you for selecting me for delivering this message on such an auspicious occasion. I would also like to acknowledge members of our newly formed Guilford Technical Community Council, uh, College Advisory Council. Last but not least, I want to recognize my husband, my son, who traveled to North Carolina, he said, Mom, not every day you get to make such an impactful speech, so I want to be there. My family and my Carter Bank and Trust colleagues who have come to support me, I truly appreciate it. Dr. Clark stated my credentials, but there are a few things that you might not have guessed about me. I'm a professional salsa dancer. Okay, I was certified by my children, but that still counts. I'm also a professional boxer, husband certified. Not what you're thinking. <laughs> but I feel like there are so many episodes of boxing, my husband's favorite sport, that I feel like I'm certified in a boxing. <laughs> Last but not least, I love country music. I hear some country music lovers, yeah. My family doesn't understand this obsession of mine, but I feel like Alan Jackson gets me. <laughs> Surprisingly, my story is pretty common. My mother came to the United States with three children, with a few dollars in her pocket and a high school diploma. She worked hard, raising us in a new country the best she could. She had, a, she had a passion for food and cooking, and in her 50s, completed a certification in culinary arts at a local college in New York City. This achievement afforded her more opportunities than she could ever have imagined. My mother's story teaches all of us that you can follow your passion no matter your situation. Like my mother, I also raised two kids on just a high school diploma. After watching one of our daughters graduate from college and a few years later, our son going off to college, I decided I wanted to be an example for my children. So I went back to school. So while being a wife, mother, daughter, and working two jobs, I had the audacity to add college student to my resume. It wasn't easy. Sometimes I signed up for one or two classes just to keep the momentum. I can't count the number of times I thought about quitting. After completing my associates here at Guilford Technical Community College, and watching our son graduate with his bachelor's degree, I decided to get mine as well. In the process of getting my bachelor's degree, my father became seriously ill. So in addition to everything else that was going on, including me managing a local Carter Bank branch, I now had to assist my mom 
with, taking, with, help, with caring for my father. He did not get to see me graduate. Now you know why I said that Alan Jackson gets me. How did I do it all? It was my faith in God and the support system which included my husband, extended family, church family, and friends that have helped me during these tough times. The reason I'm sharing my story with you is because many of you have or will go through difficult seasons as you pursue your life's aspirations. Just to get to this moment today is a testament to your ability to endure and overcome. As you continue your journey, I would like to share with you some thoughts as you navigate your professional journey. Whether it involves starting your own business or building a business you currently own or working for an organization. One, own your career. Don't wait for a company or a boss to drive your career. What do I mean by that? Take steps to be the driver. Be proactive with your career goals. Identify your strengths and motivations, then leverage them to achieve your career goals. I caution you to be strategic and pay attention to every detail as you map your career paths or as you build your business strategies. What this meant for me was I had to make a decision whether or not my actions to grow my career will be an added value to my organization. I started with something simple as volunteering in the community. It sounds simple, but everything you do, people around you are taking notes as well. So you have the same charge. Document, document, document. Ask for support. Don't go rogue. Consult with your supervisor or a human resource department and do your due diligence. If a mechanism is in place at your employer for you to develop a written plan, then take steps to docu document your roadmap to success. After consulting with my then supervisor, I call her Joe. I discovered a local organization called Junior Achievement. Great organization, wonderful team of individuals to collaborate with. Twice a year, spring and fall, I volunteer teaching financial literacy. At first, I was petrified because I was stepping out of my comfort zone but over time, after, over time, that fear dissipated, and I began looking forward to my next stint. Over time, I began to see results. Life as you know it has growing pains, but your willingness to be uncomfortable for just a moment makes it worthwhile. Like that new pair of shoes that you purchase to attend, an, to, to attend an event. When we purchase a brand new pair of shoes to attend an event, oftentimes it is uncomfortable at first. But as you begin to get compliments and how well it matches your outfit or how cute it is, the discomfort lessens. And you begin to walk with a new confidence. Sometimes it ends up being the best pair of shoes you've purchased. Don't stop learning. According to author Paul Carney, while we're busy being busy, the value of our education, skills, experiences, and other attributes that have defined our career has changed. 
began my banking career in the 90s in New York, and back then, banks' processes relied heavily on human resources. Today, as technology evolves, those processes are now automated. As many of us currently know, our banking information is a touchscreen away. Employees who kept learning acquired new positions within the industry, and that is because of their willingness to reinvent themselves. For me, I, began, I became a licensed insurance agent, which allowed me to grow with the company, with that financial institution in New York, because my end goal was to have a career in banking. Another prime example as to why continuing education is important is the impact the Great Recession of 2008 had on the manufacturing industry. North Carolina was known for a plethora of industries, but the dire economic impact of the recession resulted in many individuals returning to a place of learning to acquire new skills. So don't stop learning. As challenging as life situations can be, it is possible if you believe in yourself and a higher power to stay focused on your self-development. Don't let today be the last educational experience of your life. Follow the lead of me and my mother. If you're currently employed in anxiety, frustration, stagnation on the job, or fear of losing your job was the reason you returned to a learning environment, congratulations. You've accomplished this feat. Now what? Don't get stuck in a rut or on the path that does not support your goals. Be willing to pivot. Businesses do it to remain competitive, as many of us have done so too. Bringing a collection, a collection of experiences and your credential to a brand new profession is powerful. John Donne, an English poet, says, no man is an island entire of itself. Every man is a piece of the continent, a part of the main. Find and build a relationship with a mentor. Mentors are everywhere and can guide you. They can be found in networking groups, family, church, social organizations you're a part of, Along life's path, many of us have had a trusted person or two in our lives that provided counsel in some form or fashion. In the latter part of my career as a banker, our company was pivoting in its business strategy. I knew what needed to be done to pivot as well, but I needed help with the execution process. My mentor is my friend, John Bennett, great business acumen and runs a very successful business. He knew what I needed to pivot, what I needed and provided guidance at that time. Learning comes in many forms. It is true for mentorship as well. We need people to help us grow. Think about a plant when the seed is planted in the soil, it needs water adequate sunlight, and sometimes pruning as the plant grows. Someone needs to perform those tasks to help the plant reach its full potential, possibly a tree that bears fruit, perhaps a farmer, a gardener. But when it bears its fruit, a different skill is necessary to remove the fruit from the tree someone with a different set of tools. Identify who that person or persons could be in your life that will help you navigate your growth. No one is limited to just one mentor. 
Earlier I mentioned I counted on, I, earlier I mentioned the people I counted on during the challenging times in my life. Each of them were there for one or multiple seasons in my life. So I encourage you to build a diverse networking group to pull mentors from when necessary. You may need one or two for multiple seasons in your life. By no way have I arrived in my career path and the journey up, up to this point has not always been under favorable circumstances. Sometimes our well-laid plans to get in our well-laid plans get interrupted by life's challenges. During those times, my favorite scripture is, all things work together for the good. It took me some time before obtaining my associate's degree, but getting it was important because I wanted to be a living example to my children and a role model that they can look up to. I wanted them to see and know that nothing in life worth having and keeping comes easy. But if you believe in yourself and trust God, you can make it. You can make it. Typically, when it's raining, I refuse to leave our home if it's not necessary. But a few weeks ago, we took a trip out of town, and guess what? It was raining when we started the journey. It was early morning, it was dark, driving conditions were treacherous, and visibility was limited. Motorists sped by, splashing water on our windshield. Driving became so stressful that I had to ask my husband to take this leg of the journey. When the rain abated and the sun peered through the skies, I took over the driving for a little while. We were on the highway for a while before I realized that I hadn't thanked my husband. Rain, storms, darkness, limited vis visibility, sounds metaphoric to life's challenges. Remember to show gratitude to those who helped you navigate life's stormy journeys. Saying thank you adds value to our relationships because you never know when you, at what point in time in life you may need help again or you may be called upon to provide that support. And I'm closing. A quote from F. Scott Fitzgerald, for what it's worth, it's never too late, or in my case, too early, to be whoever you want to be. There's no limit. Start whenever you want. You have started, and I wish you success on your continuing journey. Congratulations, class of 2022. You did it. Thank you, Kim, for those, uh, for those words. Uh, you know, her, uh, Kim's story is, uh, is compelling, but uh, it's probably no more compelling than many of the stories of our graduates today. And so whether you have a similar story or your different story, you should be proud that you're here today, and we're proud of you. And we're so glad that you're here to, to celebrate with us today. And, uh, you know, I was very excited that we were able to get an alumnus of GTCC to come back and speech or, speak at our graduation. So maybe in, uh, you know, hey, Five to 10 years, I might be calling you guys up. You can come back here and give a commencement speech. And we really love you for do, to do that. So once again, thank you so much, Kim. 
Now I'd like to introduce Mr. Kevin Crowder, President of the Faculty Association, who will bring greetings from the faculty and staff. Graduates, on behalf of the faculty at Guilford Technical Community College, we offer our sincerest congratulations. I'm sure that some of you have long anticipated this day, some with eagerness, some with anxiety, and some with a complicated mix of emotions. But whatever you're feeling right now, you do know this, right? You did it. You did it. As the 2021-2022 academic year winds down and graduation approaches, I reflect on the opportunities we as faculty have. We teach students, offering the challenges of a wide selection of courses in varied academic disciplines, while at the same time assisting students with career choices and witnessing make amazing happen in real time. As president of the Faculty Association, I represent a diverse and professional group of dedicated faculty. Each faculty member at Guilford Technical Community College values their roles as motivators, unifiers, leaders, and educators. As much as we try to inspire students, we too are inspired by the very people we teach. As faculty, we can watch the lives of our students transform and grow. Faculty do not teach for money, position, or power. No, we teach to inspire students to reach for goals, to achieve, to grow, and to be stimulated by the power of knowledge. I'm reminded every semester about how much the faculty value and appreciate students' perspectives. We value and appreciate students' interests, goals, and opinions. Last week, I was approached by a student who thanked me for making old dates, antiquated events, and forgotten heroes more interesting than they had ever known. That short conversation with the student is, is illustrative of what we as faculty strive to accomplish at the end of every course, to provide students with the ability to grow, the ability to discover, to arm them with knowledge so that they can discern the truth and make informed judgments based on factors outside of their comfort zones and their prescribed biases you graduates will go on to greater and bigger things. This year, as every year, I've been provided opportunities to witness students move from I hope I can to the realities of I did. That sense of achievement, the reality of accomplishing a goal, is why we as faculty teach. You graduates make amazing happen every day for the faculty at GTCC. This graduation ceremony is an affirmation of all of your work, dedication, and commitment that each of you have made to further your educational goals. Please know that we as faculty are proud of you. You represent the future and your success motivates and inspires us. Just as you have worked hard, studied, and persisted through tough times, I'm equally proud of each faculty member at GTCC, and I'm proud to be a part of such a professional and caring faculty who value student success on a daily basis. Congratulations, graduate. You did it. Congratulations. Whenever I get up here, people want to scream. I'm not quite sure what's going on. That's, that, that's fine. All right. Uh, well, for, I want to let you know, you know, uh, a college is only as good as its leadership. You know, we have deans, we have vice presidents, we have the president, but really our leadership emanates from our board of trustees. 
And at GTCC, we're really blessed to have a great board of trustees. And uh, Mr. George Ragsdale, chairman of the board of trustees, uh, I will tell you two things. One, he is passionate about GTCC, and he has been a highly effective board of trustee, chairman of the board of trustees, and I have really appreciated his leadership. So allow me to introduce Mr. George Ragsdale, chairman of the Guilford Technical Community College Board of Trustees. Thank you, Dr. Clark. Ms. Simon, you were right. What a beautiful sight this is. It's beautiful to have us all here together, and it's beautiful to see the smiling faces of these soon-to-be graduates of Guilford Technical Community College. It's also wonderful to see the fantastic faculty we have here. The Teaching Innovation Award is presented each year by the Guilford Technical Community College Board of Trustees to the faculty member who has developed an innovative strategy to meet student needs, address learning outcomes, and positively impact student success. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I am pleased to present this year's Teaching Innovation Award to Patricia Drummond, Visual Arts Instructor. <laughs> Professor Drummond's innovative project involves bringing art to the community and to her students through a workshop series entitled Cultivating Creativity in Community. Over the course of the 2021-22 academic year, 21 workshops were held as a collaboration among the visual arts faculty, current students, alumni, and community members. Students gained relative hands-on experience creating art and workshops led by a variety of professionals and alumni. The project built a sense of wider community within the department and led to mentorships for current students who network with experts in specific areas of artistic expertise. The project broadened horizons and reinforced classroom learning. Congratulations to the 2021 Teaching Innovation Award winner, Patricia Drummond. I would now like to introduce Dr. James Edwards, Vice President of Student Services, who will present the student awards. Thank you, Dr. Clark. It's my honor to recognize two of our outstanding students this evening. The first student that, I, that we would like to recognize is Ivan Pechtel. So if Ivan can stand up and as he approaches the uh, stage, I want to share just a few words uh, that his uh, professor uh, shared with us. First, his professor, Chris Sizemore, says that Ivan is unique in that he always tries to grow his academic skills. He started his career by achieving a bachelor's degree in criminal justice and a bachelor's degree in finance. He then went on to serve and protect the people of Reedsville, North Carolina within the city's police department. After a long and successful career, Ivan decided to pursue his master's degree in business administration, but he continued to feel a longing for something different. And so this is where we find Ivan now, where he decided that he had an interest in heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration. And as a student here at Guilford Technical Community College, Ivan was always willing to help his fellow classmates and help students understand their own personal financial 
responsibility. Being a part of an entirely new field, I even uh, found some obstacles along the way. And these obstacles he was able to overcome, and he found something new and different and challenging in his life. And he was determined not to let these obstacles pass him by. And so it is our honor to uh, recognize Ivan Pictel. So please join me in congratulating him for his Academic Excellence Award. The next student that we would like to recognize is Kayla Johnston. Kayla, if you will please stand and approach the stage as well. This award, both Ivan's award and Kayla's award, just to let you know, is for academic excellence and it's for a student who achieved a grade point average of 3.0 or higher and successfully completed at least 12 credit hours uh, during their time here at GTCC, as well as activities outside of the classroom. And here are just a few words that her professor, uh, Dr. Barty, shared. Kayla is, a un is unique in that she is a returning student, mother, small business owner. Mostly what makes Kayla unique is that she managed to balance these duties while maintaining a 4.0 grade point average at Guilford Technical Community College. Dr. Barty went on to share that it is not uncommon for Kayla to drop her children off at school, drive to campus, complete a full day of courses, and then actively engage in her class and club functions before driving back home just to start all over again. She handles the pressures of class and life with grace and rarely, if ever, seems to allow all of these duties to detract her from her goal of finalizing her degree in political science and plans on continuing her education at UNC Greensboro before applying to graduate school. And with some of her long-term goals, before completing her degree, Kayla plans to take the summer off and finalize her bachelor's degree and plans on also entering a doctoral program here in North Carolina. So please join me in congratulating Kayla Johnston. Thank you. All right. Whenever I follow Dr. Edwards, I always go, bring it down a little bit. All right, there you go. I'd now like to introduce Dr. Beth Patonzo, Senior Vice President for Instruction, to present candidates for college graduation. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. <laughs> Will the candidates for college graduation please rise? Mr. President, the faculty of Guilford Technical Community College certifies that these candidates have completed all courses and have met all graduation requirements 
for their respective credential. Graduates, you may be seated, but not for very long. Marshals, you can begin to bring the graduates up to get their diplomas, and I'll be up here. Helen Samuels Townsend. Alexis Nicole Rumley. James Eli Sands. Jeremiah Rashad Johnson. Whitney Phillips. Kaziah T. Duviella. Jennifer Lynn Street. Rebecca Diane Lima. Isaiah Duan Pfeiffer. Eric D. Melton. Jacqueline Renee Torrain. Isabella Marie Dunlap. Gianni Tusa. Marquita Renee Rogers. Rachel Marie Smith. Sanjay Kumar Singh. Alyssa Noel Harris. Vanessa Marie Gentry. Jesse Lynn Maynard. Amanda Walton Lamonts. Sravan Taylor Wallace. Sonia Sante Blackwell. Amelia B. Murray. Raquel DePaz. No, no, le, cu, pa. Hanan Molly Kim.
Edith N. Walson. Brooke Swanson. Monica Letitia Smith. Barbara M. Rankin. Courtney Denise Boston. Barry Todd Johnson. Jaden Isaiah Warden. Isaiah Daniel. Hannah Nicole Frazier. Gracie Ann Solomon. Janine Ellen LaFortune. Shaughnessy Dariona Keels. <laughs> Maisha Chanel Battle. <laughs> Gloria Jean Dingle. Savannah Lorraine Cates. Gage Brewer Tally. Isaiah Novas Jones. Renata Lich. Tania Deasia Smith. Angelica Conroy. Brianna Janelle Royster. Kaylin T. Jones. Tony Alexis Renee Harris. Kenya C. Stubbs. Latoya Charmaine Brown. Renita Woodall. Irisha Shanta Love. Wesley Jamel Alston. Macy Lee Falk. Sandra Ann Curtis. Rita Wall Miller. David Lameek Walker. Blanca Jeanette Hernandez. Luis Guevara. Michelle Antoinette Terrain. Andron Ty Terrell Cook. K. 
Cassidy Traineal McCorkle. Fati Saini. Khadija Amado Noma. Jasmine Tawny Tingle. Timber Bailey Powell. Christina R. Lang. Deborah Michelle Baker. Corey Edward Crickmore. Olivia T. Nunley. Corrine Latonga Douglas. Shanae Livingston. Hita Desai. Tanisha Greiser. Alicia J. Brain. Takira Najay Moore. Michaela Simone Steele. Camelia Neal Hightower. Candy Denise Stevens. Jamari Renee Allen. Dario Tresan Harrison. Tylea Tamisha Gray. Sharita P. McMaster. Talmadge Vanor Whitney. Angelis Fabian Martinez. Zachary Murray Bell. Montserrat Marquez Canis. Marjorie Solo. Cassandra Mackenzie Collins. Anastasia Mara Ort. Timona Dalmetra Stapleton. Shaquan Mangrum. Rebecca Hicks Sherbo. Landon Cole Alley. Christopher Marin Calderon. Stephanie Lee Gillum. Kevin Joseph Neff. Yeah. 
Richard Yuhui Chen. Yesenia Cabrera Cervantes. Ashlyn Erie Breeden. Jayla Lamara Tatum. John A. Raquel Bowman. Yvonne Boone. Hannah Elizabeth Bahina. Katie Donier Harris. Jada Mitchell. Jesus Aguilar Telez. Delphine Silver. Helaya Zipporah Glenn. Genevieve Rose Price Mancher. Stefan Kassan Sims. Eddie Johnson. Jacob Ian Podolsky. Caitlin Winona Utley. Nilsson Mubarak Mandari. Eric Browning. Kiona C. Hall. Stephanie Marie Rohr. Lisa Michelle Rogers. Michelle Lavoie White. Aksa Salim. Brooke Lynn Hartman. Brianna Purnell. Deanna Elizabeth Neal. Sirena Charday Custis. Deja Renee Primus. Kaylee Feather. Wendy Carol Pulliam. Ciara L. McCall. Perla Jacqueline Molina Valenzuela. Yes. 
Yesenia Yvette Frank. Elizabeth Silva Colon. K. Nicole Bailey. Morgan Grace McNeil. Kayla Bernay Pugues. Kalela Rennell Adams. Leslie Haza Hernandez. Ashley Hasso Hernandez. Kayla M. Johnston. <laughs> Nasiria Miriam Bouladin. Sydney Elise Hall. Sophia Ellen Lehman. <laughs> Alyssa Renee Hill. Ashley Lee Roberts. Gabrielle Andres Chacon Silva. Clay Michael Hool. Abdul Rahim Musa. Sydney Faye Byerly. Joey McRae Cheney. Cameron Hamilton. Gina Torres. Arnelia Denise Floyd. Kelsey Barbara Ledbetter. Jacqueline Bueno. Mason Brett Suggs. Sydney Austin Carter. Christy Marie Moss. Caitlin Nance Annunziato. Madison Noel Tippett. Angelis Najadi Roman Garcia. Derek Michael William Powell. Hannah Juliet Santos. Antonia Garcia. Cynthia Luz Paula. Landon Williams. Hey, Sata Window. Joseph C. Jackson. Uh, 
Annette Mitchell. Caroline Brett Faust. L Laura Nicole Duncan. Ada Santino Louise Vasquez. Ruth Cruz. Tara Rosaya Shaw. El Medina Blasevic. Catherine Turnage. Babajide Oshindendi Osinowo. April V. Dant. Bryce Robert John Scott. Chrissa Amor Campos Evangelista. Aria Lindsay Gladys McDowell. Iana Sapp. Lenora Mason. Aon Dmani Austin. Iracozi Murray. In India Faye Richardson. Jewel Nicole Miller. Lal Rin Zuala. Sandra Vanessa Reyes Soto. April R. McFall. Karen Renee Travis. Darius Anthony Richardson. Jamie Marie Tracy. David McIntyre Bryant. Joy Allen. Ayana Susie Suttles. Sierra. Sierra Cruz. Ra 
Danielle Michelle Miller. Tamara Latrice Washington. Ashante Glanisha Graves. Shannon Marie Chambers. Taylor Sierra Evans. Madeline Taylor Everwine. Ryan Andrew Hawks. Stephanie Lynn Jeffries. Quinton Jerome Hughes. Marissa Yvonne Milton. Kristen Elizabeth Horn. Isabella Thungren. Daniel Andrew McNeil. Daniel D. Miller. Jaya Azalea Pauline Gomes. <laughs> Hannah Mohammed Abdullal. <laughs> Victoria Janelle Body. <laughs> Jehila Mercy Harris. Elise Talia Dickens. Shoria Amit Shah. Alicia Kadam. Jacint Jackson Radcliffe. Jasmine Christine Weston. Emma Page Edwards. Ainsley Claire Schultz. Malik Armad Flowers. Kiara Sloan. <laughs> Ellie Lavon Stevens. <laughs> Philip Lee. <laughs> Olivia Hope Lanzilotti. Alicia Marie Benz. Caitlin R. Dooley. Anna Marie Hughes.
Monica Yvonne Carter. Maya Ashley Green. Pa Patrick Clifford. Alyssa Ken Fama. Malia Chantel Diggs. Tarius D. Hilton. Shivana Hamid. Okay. Taryn Elizabeth Keener. Emily Ann Nagel. Nicole Soglo. Kimon Sabrine Tai. Cheyenne Norman. Ashley Rowe Stevens. Christopher Lynn Griffin. Alexis Bridges. Michaela Ariel Christian. Ember Rosier. Stephanie Baron Sams. Miracle Kashonia Donnell. Nikisha Donnell Warren. Ramedia Flore. Kayla Michelle Braswell. Jazia Chunaya Simmons. Jamel Rahim Lindsay. Francesca Alexandra Henriquez. Kelly Savannah Parks. Roxella Giselle Fuentes. Michaela Jade Douglas. Kaylin Janice Lilly. Jarell A. Lee. Rebecca Katiana Vargas. Tucker James Evans. Jalandria Stokes. Lakim Caldwell. Sawara Khan. Yeah. 
Yancy N. Vente España. Grace E. Thompson. Hannah Noel Kirkland. Kayana Arnisha Price. Carlos Chersan Camp. Gabriel Allen. Jasmine Gomez Pineda. Justin Wade Wallace. Charles D. Carson. Natalie Wilson. Joycinda Araneta Crutchfield. Kelly Mosqueda. Shakima Maisha Ellis. Starlet Jeffries. Destiny Desiree Carter. Reed Victor Rouse. Stuart Allen Matthews. <laughs> Salisha LaParis Brown. <laughs> Normis Toshe Joseph. Macarena Asuncion Mba Obama. Lydia Rose Scaramastra. Rashida Horton. Elizabeth Huffman. Damian Breedlove Boone. Caden Lee Moore. Braden Phillips. Alan Moran. Wyatt Buck Stauffer. David Lira Mondragon. Jason Enrique Sanchez. Colin Matthew Rose. Corey T. Good. Jordan Chandler Zimmerman. Trevor Paul Pretori. Yeah. 
Colin Patrick Flick. Hayden Noble Brown. Ali Williamson. Dylan Ray Weaver. Jared Jerome Young. Isaac Valentine Hammond. Thomas Yancey Hawks. E. Rosa Nee Britt. Gatlin Weidler. Michael Leon Rhodes. Angelo D. Ford. Jaden Lee Layton. Eduardo Danny Rivera Leon. Kevin Lopez Jimenez. Giovanni Alexander Uarte. Hector Timothy Gallardo. Rolando Efrain Mendez. Maurice Tavon Tinsley. Misal Pineda. Nigel Malik Davis. Carolyn Joy Causey. Zakia Westbrook. Courtney Alexis Smith. Vasiki Kane. Tremont Gennard Kelly. Caleb Dean Allison. Yeah. Austin Lewis Ramey. Gareth Williams. John Evan Ingram. Preston Steve Hester. Dylan R. Bird. Wade Dalton Clevenger. Austin Drake Logan. J. Levi Combs. Noah Akira Nakayama. John Thomas Dancy. Joshua Andrew Romo.
Justin Alexander Burke Terrell. Orlando Lee Bolden II. Vance D. Brady. Brandon Manuel Rodriguez. Louis George Wright. Pedro Bahena Bello. Michael Ty Osterman. Christina Elizabeth Valtiera. Yesen Anan. Justin Caleb Watson. Lily Cheyenne Boland. Gilberto Mandiola. Wesley Franklin Ganey. Felipe Jesus Vasquez. Darius Trey Dallas Corbett. Jorge Sanchez Ringold. Norman Austin Nixon. Caleb J. McCracken. Stephen Dodge Campbell. Alan Montezuma Noyola. Johnny Beck Nazrias. Adrian T. Wells. Benjamin Charles Ashbrenner. Andrew Scott Cleaver. Isaiah C. Sexton. Patrick Harrison Camden. Colton Douglas Casey. David A. Bruton. Michael Wagner. Thomas Buzzati. Sean Patrick Wareham. Xander Brett Williams. Drew Baker Kuhn. Alyssa. Alyssa Nicole Cheney. Michael Alexander Bullard.
Israel Jaramillo Vences. Brian George White. Wesley Aaron Francis. Ivan Bradley Pectel. Alexander Lira Mijangos. Jerry Motino. Jorge Luis Sandoval. Joshua Marti. Nicholas James Foland. Iman Kazir. Angela Felix. Aaliyah White. Alondra Hernandez. Will the candidates for Certificate, Diploma, Associate in Applied Science, Associate in Arts, Associate in Fine Arts, Associate in General Education, and Associate in Science degrees please rise. By the authority vested in me, by the State Board of Community Colleges and the Guilford Technical Community College Board of Trustees, and on the recommendation of the faculty, I hereby declare you graduates of Guilford Technical Community College with the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. Okay, this is the last step. Graduates, please move your tassels from right to left. Congratulations. Please be seated.
Well, congratulations to graduates, parents, and friends. Thank you for attending the Guilford Technical Community College's commencement exercises. Your presence here today has been very meaningful to the graduates and to the administration, faculty, and staff of the college. Will the audience, faculty, staff, stage party, and graduates please rise and remain standing in place until the recessional has ended. Enjoy the rest of your evening.